In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a new product. It's actually a portable soldering iron that's supposed to compete with the legendary TS-100, which is this right here. Now, I've had this for so long that I don't even remember, and this is by far one of the best soldering iron or portable soldering irons I have tested and used. And I've tested quite a lot, and nothing could compete with this. So Flipsky thinks it can, and what we're going to do today is we're going to do a teardown. We're also going to test it with a watt meter, see how well it performs, see the internals, and see if it's actually a better deal since it's around eight dollars cheaper this is a 43 dollar deal here which comes with the head as you can tell comes with this type just like the ts100 and with a little sponge and a stand which is actually very useful as you can tell really awesome stuff here so first of all let's start with the teardown see if we see any differences inside and then we'll take it from there before starting the testing, just a word from our sponsor, PCBWay is one of the leading PCB manufacturers. It is the best place to have your PCB manufactured. This is where I've done most of my projects and some of the things that I currently have in the market that I sell to end users. So if you're ever in doubt into flashing services, assembly services, or just a PCB manufacturing part, definitely check them out. Their links are down below. So on the bottom side, we're looking at the original TS-100. In here, we have the, I think, OEM, the Flipsky version, which is also $8 cheaper. And what you you'll immediately tend to notice is that they are 100% identical. Not only that, also if we take a look at the heads that they use, they're basically identical as well. So anything compatible with the TS100 will work perfectly fine with the Flipsky SQ001. So that's something really nice to see. However, that's not the only case here. Also, the firmwares are going to be 100% compatible with each other. So by far, you're getting a much better deal with the SQ001 here. Plus, you also get this really nice stand slash uh, sponge here, uh, which wasn't really provided to me with my TS100 when it was like, oh, this thing used to be 80 bucks. Now it's around 53. And this one right here is going for $43. So right now I'm going to stick them together and we're going to test the default firmware with a watt meter to see how well they perform. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the TS-100. We're gonna see how long does it take to get to 400 degrees Celsius, and we're also gonna watch what is the maximum watt, watts it's going to use slash amperage here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in, and we're gonna start the stopwatch once we go ahead and press the button. So one, two, three. There we go, and we're watching it heat up. You might think it's touching my phone, but it's not. So it's pulling 28, 28 watts currently, 27 watts, roughly around 2 amps, 1.75 amps. We can see the watts down here. We can see the voltage, amperage, and um, these are the watts per hour. So it's hit its mark around the 23 second mark. So I would say this took around 23 seconds. Obviously, when I edit the video, I'll know exactly how long this took. Now let's go ahead and set up the SQ001 from Flipsky here. All right, so now the SQ001 and start. There we go. So we're seeing also the same thing around 29 watts, uh, pretty stable, 27 watts also, roughly two amps, 1.75 amps. And we're gonna watch how long this actually takes here. So it's already on 200. I can see smoke coming out from the tip because it's still brand new. So I'm gonna have to redo this off camera once I'm editing the video because I had it set to 300 before I actually started the test. So for the SQ001, I kind of screwed up because the temperature was set to 300. So I have to wait until this cools down and retest it again to know exactly how long it took. So as you can tell also by changing the firmware, we can do quite a lot with this and they are compatible with each other's firmware. There's some burst firmwares, which is really crazy. As soon as it detects temper drop, it'll just burst a bunch of, a bunch of watts in and it'll keep the temperature relatively stable. And that's what you want here. So for example, we're going to put it into this wet sponge and let's see what happens on the watts down here. We see now it's starting to pick up. However, the TS100 firmware that I currently have on, which I don't know which one it is exactly, um, is much, much better at keeping and just giving a burst of wattage to keep that temperature sometimes even above 400. Uh, but overall, at the end of the day, these are gonna perform identical. Um, it just comes down to the firmware that you're gonna be using. And overall, it's a really, really great priced product. The plastic body is much better on the SQ001. This is pretty old. It's kind of much more flimsy. It already started cracking around this area. So the body here also feels slightly stronger. However, the internals are basically identical. Everything else is identical from the microcontroller unit to everything. 
even the layout you have the usb the same type of everything however you get a little bit more with the sq001 one thing you get which i really like is the stand you also get the proper xt60 connector that's going to go into this which with the ts100 never came and i think i had to make my own at the time but i don't know if they do supply them with them however at the end of the day the sq001 is the better priced option they're both exactly identical in every single way other than the packaging the thing they provide you with and the shell again is much stronger than the original ts100 here you can get this in either blue or black and well i'm gonna see if i get you guys some coupons linked down below so and again everything here is linked down below let me know what you guys think down in the comment section and it is basically a ts100 rebranded and somehow cheaper uh which is something really nice to see here which again, they're calling it the upgraded version of the TS-100, but the internals are basically identical to the bone. And well, that's it guys. I'll have everything linked down below. Let me know what you think down in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys.